I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Yesterday, I talked about Stuart Haas Racing and their future in the sport of NASCAR, especially with the manufacturer, Ford. And I also talked about Haley Deegan and her 2024 plans. Yesterday, I talked about Haley Deegan possibly making the jump up to the Xfinity Series next year to either drive for Stuart Haas Racing or Ryan Sieg Racing. Those are the only two Xfinity teams out there at the moment. And that right there could be very likely, but more likely to go to Ryan Sieg. But though, we are now getting closer and closer to the day that's going to come at some point in time when Eric Almarola decides to retire from the sport of NASCAR. I like Eric Almarola. To be honest with you, I really don't want him to see him retire. I want him to stay for a couple of more years. Uh, but the time is coming and he is going to retire. And Tony Stewart is going to want to put a driver that brings in sponsorship money into that ride. And right now, a lot of people can say, oh, Gene Haas. Haas is sponsoring Ryan Priest. Well, they're not going to want to sponsor two race cars every single weekend. That right there is going to cost the team a ton of money. And a lot of people talk about Zane Smith being the, the replacement of Eric Amarola, which I believe will make a great replacement. But, though, he doesn't bring in sponsorship money. A lot of people may say, oh, he's sponsored by Love's, Speedco, all these different brands every single weekend with Front Row in the Truck Series. Well, those sponsors right there are long-term partners with Front Row. They would, they've been with them for years now. They've been sponsoring them since the 2010 days where he saw David Reagan, uh, David Gillen, Josh Weiss. Those sponsors during that era are still with this team. They have not moved with the drivers that were at the time to different locations. They're committed to that team. So, them sponsors are out of out of the decision making. And Zane Smith, before he went to front row, he had hardly sponsorship money at all. So, Zane Smith is not going to bring in the sponsorship money. However, he does bring in the talent. But, Stuart Haas Racing is wanting the money, so it's probably not going to work out there. That's why I believe Michael McDowell's deal did not work out with them because he failed to bring in sponsorship money also. But now we look at Haley Deegan. Yesterday I hinted her at possibly going to an Xfinity ride, but I believe now just putting two and two together over the last 24 hours of hearing sponsorship deals emerging from Stuart Haas, that she can be in line for the 10 car. And it's crazy to believe that because she is kind of, sucking right now in the truck series. Uh, she is not doing good at all, but at the same time, I said it yesterday, the truck series is hard to judge because you got so many young drivers in it that don't care about their surroundings and just ramsacking through everybody. It's the new ARCA series. The ARCA series right now, to be honest with you, is not worth watching, and the truck series is getting like that also. And Haley Deegan, even though she doesn't win and in the trucks does not mean she's a bad driver uh but if she makes a jump up the cup she's obviously going to have a steep learning curve but though she's going to bring in that sponsorship money and that attraction to not only nascar but stewart haas racing and that very well may give them tons of tons of money down the line so i believe it's going to happen i believe eric amarola is going to retire and Tony Stewart is going to look at his pockets and realize Gene Haas is starting to take a step back. And he is sponsoring Ryan Priest on a consistent basis. And he cannot do two cars at once. So Tony Stewart's going to, I got Josh Berry. I got the man I wanted. I can't get Zane Smith, but you know what? I can get Haley Diggins. She's going to probably damage a couple of cars along the way. Hey, that's the learning curve. But she brings in sponsorship money. And that's why I believe Eric Amarola will retire and Haley Deegan will replace him in that 10 car. A wild prediction, but sponsorship money doesn't lie. It keeps you honest and real. Please like and subscribe and comment down below on what you think is going to happen. Am I right or am I going to be wrong? Comment down below, please.